Hello everybody, Phenomenal Sir here, back with another episode of The First 15, the series where I play the first 15 minutes of new or underexposed indie games and then share my thoughts and feelings about them. Today up, we have Orom Pakinga, a bizarre dark fantasy RPG with no class restriction where you play as a Knight of the Depths. Your goal is to defeat the Mass, a colossal floating ball of grease that will block the hole in the sky of a twisted and unknown world turning the world of the depths to hell like in the old times, causing an apocalypse. So, let's see. I have 15 minutes on the clock. And our journey into Orom Pakinga starts now. A game by Ildefonso Paez, a.k.a. Isopodomancer. Lord of Guidance. Get up, Darla. Put an end to your meditation. I need a night. I won't allow this. Listen closely, Darla. The mass will close the hole in the sky, turning the world of the depths to hell. Just like the old times. So tell me, O oh brave knight, what gear will help you fight the mass? I want to be a sorcerer. Good. Now, how strong are you really? Um, I'm a normal boy. I expected that, yes. You still need to learn a lot in combat. Great. I'll try to open the path to the highest and closest place to the mass. Good luck, Darla. See you later. So, it's obviously made an RPG maker of one kind or another, and that is totally okay. <coughs> A little white root embraced by magic. Ringed dagger. Okay. Stab. Triple power orb. Okay. Oh, Lord. I do it. Oh! I like the music. I don't know why I like the music, but I like the music. In dead. Are you Emonies? You are not Emonies. I don't I love I think this is so cool because the game is so simplistic, but they have the like rays of light coming across the screen. I guess they did that with like a a parallax layer or something. I don't know how they did it, but I love it. I just noticed it. I'm like, wait a second, this doesn't make sense. Stone Kid, she isn't singing for us anymore. And that makes me sad. She just stopped singing for us. There was a typo there. Um, in the first time I first time I talked to him, it said Stone Kid, and then the second time it said Stone Kid. Just FYI for the dev. I want a train. Swing, wing, wing. So my regular attack and my stab seem to do the same amount of damage. I don't know if that's because I just recovers 10 so I don't know if that's just because um, that enemy like I don't know if the I don't know if like a normal attack versus stab do like a different type of damage and maybe that enemy is just equally resistant to both. But I don't know if it makes sense to give me an item that gives me a specific ability that is, for all intents and purposes, identical to a regular attack. 
I hit it. He broke the item inside. Nice. Oh lordy. Why? Why would I do that? What? So that's a- okay, that's horrifying. I was like, oh, I'll help you, and no, I just slid her open and pulled a fetus out. That's... I don't like that. That makes me unhappy. Oh, Lord. Who are you? He is dead. You found three orbs. Ah. Uh, my speech has improved, as you can see. Shut up. Please. Just shut up. 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 Hey, 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 hey. What you doing, man? What you doing, man? <laughs> Just wanted to see if maybe he'd do something. Recover seven body noise. Uh oh. Oh lord. First doubt. Ooh, I'm the first doubt. I fell straight from the mass. It sure hurts. I feel a little too weak, but let's see if I can rip off your guts still. Unnecessary, sir. Uh. Doubt the fallen is slain. Darla was victorious. Orb found. Ugh. You obtained a mass chunk. Increases the maximum body by five. Uh, I guess I'll do it. So, this is probably going to be unnecessary, but I'm going to. Oh, I almost touched that one. That could have been bad. Okay, yeah, that heals. All right, I'm gonna kill these other little mean boys and level up. Oh, I guess I don't get XP though, do I? It doesn't say I'm gaining XP. Can I level up in this game? No. Okay. So this is just this is just me. Ah, this is just me living my life. guidance. Darla, oh Darla, I can bring light to build the stairs to higher grounds. However, I need you to get me some power. I'm sorry for not being able to use my full power. The grease of the mass sure is a problem. Get me some power. Get me some light. Literally, get me some light. Pure white light. Understood? Return here once you have the light and ascend. Good. Now go. Hey, buddy. Hello. My name is Lud. You look like a fine man. What? Darla, you say? Well, allow me to mention, that's a cute name. <laughs> but let's be serious now. I've been looking for a way to open the stairs. Yes, I want to destroy the mass. But the paths, they seem to be broken. Most people just gave up and are evacuating the world of the depths before the mass closes the hole in the sky. I don't judge them. They fear to be trapped here when this becomes hell again. But I will try to face the mass. I'm not alone, and that gives me hope. Who are you? What is it? Huh? My name? I don't have one. It doesn't matter anyways. I'm glad I wasn't crucified like my sisters. The crucifixer hasn't found me, at least not yet. I'm pregnant just like my sisters, but I won't give up my baby. He will help us all once he is born. I'm just a bit nervous, though. Well, that's horrifying. Kiss in a bottle, salt candy, round shield. Spell scroll, spell scroll. Cloth necklace. Old 
ring with a bloody spine, short and weak rip. His magical power strengthen increases your strength a little bit. I guess I'll learn that. Poison cloud. Bro, what are you doing? You know, my sword isn't actually mine. It used to be a friend's sword, the Oram sword. Oddly enough, one day he disappeared. His clothes were next to the sword. He disappeared naked. I couldn't find him. I searched for a few years, but if he fell to the water in madness, I doubt I will find his body. This sword, defeating the mass with this sword, will be the only way to honor my friend. I still wonder how or why he went crazy. Everything was perfect. I'm just resting here. Give me some time. I'll move sooner or later. Okay, I was hoping maybe he'd be my, my buddy and come with me. Two horned knight. I can't do this myself. I need someone to open the path. I literally can't. I'm sorry. Go, do something, because I won't fight. The grease, it's coming for me. And I know that if the grease from the mask gets me, it will be my end. I just feel it. I'm emotionally broken, you see. It wouldn't have good effects on me, buddy. Okay. What's this? I got a gray key. I used a gray key. <laughs> Uh-oh. Or, or, or. <laughs> He coming. Uh -huh. ah! <laughs> oh no, there's two. I thought that was the same one. Ah, bam. <laughs> oh, my body, my spirit. Oh God, he's hurting me. So did the poison actually do anything? It doesn't look like the poison's doing anything. That's a little upsetting. Yeah, it doesn't look like he was taking any damage from the poison, so that might just mean that he's immune to it, or it might mean that um, I just shouldn't have used that spell on him. I don't know. You found an orb shield. A magical orb turned into a shield. Nice. I knew I shouldn't have bought a damn shield. I was like, ah, I'm sure there's going to be one. Welcome to my meditation place, O oh Knight of the Depths. I haven't used my magic in a while, but I'm pretty sure I can still do a few things. Bring me a crystallized mass piece or three mass drops. I can turn the crystallized mass pieces into soul roses to increase your soul. And with three mass drops, I can unify them into a mass chunk to increase your body come from the Silver City. Okay. Whoa. The Profaned Mountain. Gotcha. Those who still care about the world of the depths, drop the profaned orbs into the right holes. No, I don't want to fight him! Oh, I should have gone back and saved. What is that little green thing? Hmm. F you. Hey, buddy. 
these worms sure are tricky. You never know which one, hole has a worm and which one doesn't. I'm getting nervous. I need to go back and like... Oh, Lord. Angel frog is a-coming. Is that a random path, or is he just chasing me? Run, 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 run. I disagree. Oh, we got a red key. A gray altar. Gray key. I did it. <laughs> okay, so that is 15 minutes. This is weird, but I like it. Um, I'm not really sure what to think of it. It's it's its own world. I mean, that's all I can say is that it's there's some weird stuff like the the saving the and you just rip the baby out and now you can save and and the monsters and the whole thing is just bizarre is the only word that really fits it's just strange but it works and it doesn't seem like anyone living in the world thinks it's bizarre so I'm liking it. I'm probably going to end up doing a full playthrough of this. Um, like I said at the start, it's it seems fairly obvious based on the stuff that, that I did see in the menus and whatnot that this was made using um, RPG Maker. And, you know, you did a good job of it. I like the music. The music sounds like you probably did it yourself. It seems like it's pretty, um, I don't know if I call it experimental, but it's just a lot of, like, guitar licks and things like that. I really like the the little sound effects of the monsters being like hoo, 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 and that kind of stuff. I like everything about it, and I want to check because this game looks very familiar to something that I've seen before. Um, <clears throat> a long time ago, I can't remember what it was called. It's like the. Yeah, I can't... Hmm. There was a game that I saw a long time ago where you play as, like, this character called the Slugger or something like that, and you're going through... You're going through um, a very minimalist, kind of hand-drawn world similar to this, and it's got that same kind of, like, weird vibe to it where like you're fighting monsters in sugar mines and things like that and i was thinking maybe this was made by the same person but it doesn't look like it um so i'm not going to talk about that game anymore because i want to talk about Orum pakinga which i think is cool this is a cool game um you know there's a little bit of weirdness i would say the dialogue i think it's fair to say that the there may have been some stuff lost in translation bringing it over to English because the dialogue sounds a little strange. Um, it doesn't quite flow right. Um, and as I said before, I'm not really sure. You know, I only played as the sorcerer, obviously. Um, but I'm not really sure what the reasoning is for me to pick my gear and the sorcerer gets an item that gives him a spell or an ability called Stab if that ability literally does the exact same damage as a normal attack and doesn't seem to have any secondary effects. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just not getting it, but um, that's what it seems like to me, is that <clears throat> if you just you just have two attacks that do the same thing, and you don't, I, it's just, you know, you don't want redundancy in your, in your, uh, your attacks like that. But, you know, those are little things. Overall, um, I think that the world is very compelling. It also reminds me, it has a vaguely um, uh, earthbound feel to it in the bit where you go to um, Ness's dream world. Um, it, it seems kind of like Ness's dream world in the aesthetic and the kind of like just straight-faced bizarreness of it all. But for me, um, 
this is a good game. I like it. I, I can't say it's phenomenal because I don't really know what all there is left to do. But I'm probably going to put this one on my list of things to do like a full playthrough for. Um, and I'm definitely going to follow this, this developer because I want to see what else they make. And if this game has any more updates or anything like that, I want to be aware of it. Um, so yeah, great job. Um, thank you everybody as always for watching. Uh, link to the game is going to be in the description down below. Uh, be sure to check it out. Um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you get notified whenever I do more First 15 videos, um, which will drop Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of every week. And also to be notified whenever I upload stuff from my Twitch stream, which Twitch, bleh, Twitch stream account, sorry. Um, because it's not just indie games that I play. I play a lot of different things, and... Um, Hopefully you'll find something there to interest you. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again. Great job, developer. And until next time, stay healthy. Stay safe out there.